Oh, we're moving from coffee to Coco. Our next guest host, she, these mind-blowing humor, daring drama, contemporary reality, it's wrapped in this fiery, energetic mm -hmm. package. Is that an intro or what? Yes. Thank you. I wrote that. I wrote that. You've seen her in shows like Breaking Bad, The Young and the Restless, and numerous comedy programs on TV. Lighting up the stage this weekend at the Funny Bone, please welcome the fabulous comedian Coco Brown. Coco Brown. Hi. What's up, Coco? How you guys welcome. doing? I'm like I'm reading your intro like, who that? Who that? <laughs> <laughs> who are they talking about? <laughs> well, welcome, I love it, I love it. Uh, welcome to Omaha, it's good Thank to see you. Thank you, it's nice to be uh, back, you know, it's been a while. It has, how long has it been? Over 10 years. Yeah, it's yeah. been over a decade years. or so. Well, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, Bella Vita was on, so we got you a glass of mm -hmm. wine. I know We know you like some oh, red wine. Oh, yes, yes. we've got ours. It's so, never too early for wine. Yes, no, it's not. Cheers? It is we do it. o'clock in England, honey. Yep. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Great to have you here. Good. One thing we wanted to ask you about, actor John Beasley, You, because you were on The Soul Man, and you had, you had, Six episodes with him, John Beasley mm -hmm. from Omaha, obviously. So yeah. you, got, you, you got to know him on that. Absolutely, it was it was so much fun working with all of them. You know, Cedric Nisi, Sherry, John. You know, it was like a family. You know, yeah. and I was just grateful that you know I had a reoccurring character. I played Marshawn, um, one of Lottie's best friends. So they were constantly bringing me back to cut up with her, and it was mm -hmm. John was always there. I did not know he lived here. Yes, and you got a phone call from him. I just talked to him on the phone, and yeah. I was like, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So he's yeah. gonna come on down to your show. Yeah. He's coming down. He's coming down. Oh, great. That'll so, be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, so I'm going to switch gears just a little bit here. I read that you started out working for the circus for Ringling Brothers, <laughs> Ringling Brothers? and Barnum uh -huh. and Bailey. Please tell what us how you, you got into that. I mean, I you know, it was one of my first jobs out of college and you know, I thought I was going to be actually working for the circus, but I was stuck in a 3. Point, 3 by 5 cubicle doing <laughs> billboard design and you know, commercials for the circus yeah. at Disney mm -hmm. on Ice. And um, but I got to travel a lot because I was the one to make sure that billboards were on the right part of the highway and not yeah. facing, you know, the building but facing the street. Right. You know, that was my job. <laughs> <laughs> that was my job. So it was it was fun, but I, I was a ticket chick though. That was the thing. Right. I, every time the circus came to town, you know, 511 calls. Mm. Girl, I need some tickets for little JoJo right. and them. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's for everybody. Well, are you sad? The Ringling Brothers, they folded up. Are I you know. sad about that? Did you hear about that? I mean, yeah, I was pretty shocked. Well, I knew something was going on when yeah. uh, Mr. Feld, who owned it when I worked there, had sold it. Yeah. And I said, okay, something's happening. So I kind of knew something was coming. Well, they, they yeah. came through Omaha about a year ago, and we took our kids. And that, you know, because I grew up, as you did, grow up going to the Ringling Brothers. Absolutely. And so when they came through, we took the kids, and that was the last time. I'm glad I took them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and then there's other circuses, you know, going around, sure, sure. you know, you still give your kids that experience. But Ringling Brothers is kind of like the pioneer. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like a staple in your childhood. So how did you get into comedy then from there? Boredom. Boredom? Um, yeah, absolutely. You probably had a ton of material <laughs> from the circus. And, yeah. It took a friend of mine. Um, a friend of mine literally took me uh, to a, you know, comedy club mm -hmm. and was like, you know, you're too funny. Get on stage. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, no. And I did. And I just was like rambling about being on the circus and the audience is like <laughs> laughing. And I'm like, oh. And then I realized, oh, what's funny is what's real. Yeah. Uh -huh. So ended up just kept going. And then Coco Brown was born, you know. Coco yeah. Brown. Is it, yeah. but was it, is it always that easy for you when you're on stage? Because that first time you got up and you just started talking about stuff in life, is is that what you still do? I do. do you, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. I mean, I, I tell people all the time, I don't tell jokes, I tell the truth. Yeah. yeah. You know, and whatever's going on in my life is what you're going to get on stage. It's like you reading my diary. Uh -huh. You know, it just, you know, it's, you know, just sprinkled with a lot of great language. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just a little flair. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. that fiery. Seasoning. A little seasoning. That's that, that fiery energy. When I say that fiery energy. Fiery energy. Yes. Exactly. And you have a son named Phoenix. I do. Right? Uh, I do. Love of my life. So cute. I was Thank going through you. your Instagram. Did he just graduate from, was it pre Pre-K. Pre-K. Pre Look at him. He is so I smart. graduated. Angel. I was yes. watching videos and stuff. I, I love him. Huge. He's like, you know, my son thinks my wigs on the heads in my closet are real people. <laughs> like, he, he talked to him? No, he, like, he walks in the closet every yeah. day. Hi, everybody, and just walks yeah. out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I try to wash one of them. He's like, Mommy, they've been kidnapped. I'm like, no, they're in the same. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That does, is he tra does he travel with you? It's got to be he, hard when he's gone. You when know, you're it gone, is. Though. You know, now that he's getting ready to go to kindergarten, you know, real school, yeah. I can't mm -hmm. pull him out for like a month at a yeah. time. So thank God for like FaceTime and Skype mm -hmm. and stuff oh, like that because, you know, I now have to leave him when I could take him yeah. with me, mm -hmm. you know, but summertime, usually I take him with me, but um, he's home this weekend. Oh, yeah. he's so cute. Yeah. Uh, your show's this weekend. Yes. For those of us who come, I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to be there. Please come. Yes, please. it will be fun. Well, what yes. can we expect to see from your stand -up? Straight no chaser. I'm going through a lot. I'm trying to date now after a divorce, and what I've seen in these streets, ladies, if... <laughs> what I've seen uh, in the streets. I'm here. These, <laughs> I'm with okay, you. Okay, honey, if you yes. find you a good man, and he isn't cheating on you, 
all that the time. Let it go. One. Let it go. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> because there's nothing fear. in these streets. I'm telling you, it's bad. <laughs> yes, you know, what is so this hard. Netflix and chill? No, you better bring some popcorn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some pizza. No. Something. I'm always going to stay over here on this side. You guys, you guys, <laughs> have, you guys have your thing over here, okay? Yeah, I don't even know. I'm saying, I'm saying. I see you don't, you're not wearing a ring. How well, no, I'm married. I actually injured my finger. You're tricking people. See, you're tricking people. See, that's the problem. Coco, I hurt my finger. I had this thing on. Anyway. I'm going to sit with you. <laughs> FunnyboneOmaha.com. Coco's she's gonna be there all weekend tonight. <laughs> oh, two shows tonight, two tomorrow and Sunday. Salute. Yes, Coco. cheers. Put one up I'll for just, Coco. Put your ring back Found on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, hey. Mike, come on, get it. Together. I gotta get out of here. Thanks, Coco. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me.